Hey guys, in CWQ here, and I have y'all looking at EMSC. And as you can tell by looking, we've had smaller earthquakes all the way up to fours. Nothing major. We're still having earthquakes in the Vancouver Island, Canada region. But not any fives today, which is good within the past 12 hours. And uh, I wanted to tell you all, in case I haven't said it already, thank you to those who have been sending me support through my coffee site and through my PayPal and helping support my creativity, my channel, and other needs. I really appreciate it very much. Every penny that y'all have contributed has helped me continue to be here, create content for you, to do my research and to survive through a lot that I have been going through, and I am very appreciative. I want to give you all an update. I went back in this morning, and this was my fourth appointment in three months, and I had to go and see my oral surgeon again, and this morning was my latest visit, and it looks like I'm going to have to have some corrective surgery as I am not healing correct. Um, this involves more bone being removed. It is a setback for me as my hopes were that that would be my last surgery and that it would be the only one I needed. So I'm letting you guys know I am frustrated. Okay, so as I stated in the last 12 hours, earthquakes have been small. As you all know, there was the 5.7 here on the Juan de Fuca. And... There have been some aftershocks. I'm assuming those are aftershocks, but I also think that there's still an ongoing swarm. And with this, we will have to watch to make sure there's not a larger earthquake, which is possible. As we're looking at this area right here, I also want to remind people there was a 5.2 earthquake down here in the Gulf of California. So when I'm looking at this, I am assuming thinking, not forecasting, that there may be a five within this area here. And if so, that puts us in the area of San Francisco. And this is also the North American Pacific boundary, as well as hey, pull me up, the San Andreas. So that is something I'm looking at. I'm also looking at this area here, which is the Mendocino Fault, also part of the Juan de Fuca. And I'm looking at this area here, which is California, Oregon area. We're also going to be watching over here as well for activity. So those areas that I have just mentioned are the areas that we're going to keep an eye on as this area and this area have both been active, I can, I think that there will be another earthquake in these regions that we need to be watching for. I am not forecasting, but after watching earthquakes for years, I also see what can be possible. Okay, you guys, so let's move on to Hurricane Barrel. Hurricane Barrel is now hitting the Yucatan Peninsula. And let me pull this up for you. Uh, I think this one's it. Right here, this is Hurricane Barrel. has 100 mile an hour winds. And it is moving west-northwest at 15 miles per hour. This hurricane is hitting the Yucatan Peninsula with high winds, storm surge, and very heavy rainfall up to four to six inches with 10 inches possible in certain areas. Mexico and the northeastern Texas will be affected starting more likely Sunday. And let's take a look here while I'm pulling this up. And we can see here Sunday into Monday, it's a hurricane. It's forecast to come off of the Yucatan Peninsula as a storm, regain hurricane status Sunday p.m., and Sunday morning, this is Texas here, and this is Mexico here. And it looks to me as though it's coming ashore in Texas. Looking at the track for barrel, 
It looks as though the eye may come ashore in Texas as a hurricane and dissipate after that into a tropical storm. I was reading somewhere yesterday that it may affect up to six states. Anyways, you guys, please stay away from the water. There is rip currents predicted with this, and surfing and swimming is not recommended. Barrel is moving at 15 miles per hour west-northwest at this time with 100-mile-an-hour winds as of 7 a.m. this morning. And let's see what the satellite is showing. This is the satellite of Barrel right here. And I was looking at something else a little bit ago. We see that there may be another storm over here, so I'm keeping an eye on what's going on with that thing. But anyways, we have Barrel over here, so we need to be watching this closely as to where it will go. And let's do this. I want to refresh here because I was watching this for a while. And it looks like it's getting some wind shear as well. Anyways, you guys, that was just a real quick update. I hope y'all are doing well. Please remember to have a plan. Please be safe. And I'm sorry if I was a bit late posting today um, because of the doctor's appointment that I went to. Anyways, here's wishing you all a beautiful day, night, morning, wherever you are in the world. Much love and God bless.